Welcome back and again, welcome to Ozarks Tonight. I'm David Oliver. I'm honored to have joining me the local president of the NAACP chapter in Springfield, Cheryl Clay. It is good to see you and I'm embarrassed because I just met you for the first time recently after being here so many years. I saw her at the courthouse and I said, I see you on TV all the time. And I said, <laughs> was, we talked and I said, I got to get you on Ozarks Tonight. We want to bring you on, Cheryl, to talk about the African American Heritage Trail because you said this is a years long project that's mm -hmm. happening and, and it's an important project. What, what is it all about? I think so. Well, it grew out of a study of two professors at MSU, Lyle Foster and Tim Knapp, uh, to document the historical contributions or landmarks that were important to African Americans in the Springfield community. So we had this planning committee and we create and the city of Springfield was on board. Uh, we had various members of the community and we planned these beautiful signs and we are going to mark different spots in mm -hmm. our Springfield community of places or landmarks that are historical to the African Americans in our community. And there are a lot of those specific locations. Talk about some of the, the locations that will be part of this trail. Well, we actually dedicated the first sign in Silver Springs Park this summer. Uh, it was the 100th year anniversary for Silver Springs mm -hmm. Park. So the first sign was dedicated there. They will, there will be four signs of what we're calling the church quadrant. It's where the historically black churches were located. Uh, mm -hmm. Gibson Chapel Presbyterian Church, Pitts Chapel, the historical Washington Avenue Baptist mm -hmm. Church, and then Benton AME Church. Mm -hmm. So signs will go there. And now my mind's going blank on That's the okay. other location. But you gotta raise a lot of money to do this, yes. right? How are you doing that? Well, we're going to, um, Word of mouth, number one, we are going to solicit funds for businesses, apply for some grants. Uh, the city recently committed to funding the first four signs. Okay. So uh, I think the signs are approximately around $4,000 a piece. So they're not cheap, obviously. Exactly. You got, you, got, you got a hill to climb there. Talk about the importance of, of this trail and, and, and making sure that we pay homage to that African-American history and the heritage here in Springfield and the Ozarks. Are, are we doing enough in terms of that? I think it's a good, um, it's a good start for our community to recognize that African Americans have contributed to our community. Mm -hmm. And the churches were a big part of that. They were the cornerstone of the community back in the day. So to recognize and honor those older churches is awesome considering one of them has moved from that location. Yeah, that was a big deal too, obviously. Another one has recently closed due to lack of mm -hmm. membership, and I believe Drury University owns it now. And two are still in their original sites, Gibson Chapel Presbyterian Church and Pitts Chapel Methodist mm -hmm. Church. Right. Pitts is at the bottom of the bridge on Benton Avenue and Martin Luther King, the mm -hmm. Vidot going over, yep. and Gibson Chapel is one block east of there on Tampa and Washington. What's been the reception in the community when you go out and say, hey, we're trying to raise money to put these signs in place to honor this part of our history and heritage? Have people been receptive to it? I think so. Yeah. I think people, um, we've had a couple of nibbles who are willing to sponsor a sign or several signs. When we created the signs, I made sure that they left a spot on there for this sign sponsored by. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of signs to get up in our city that we would love to have someone sponsor a sign yeah. and have their name there. And this is going to be a several year long project. Yes. We're going to have to raise money, get these signs put up. What's your timeline? Do you have one? I don't. I don't believe so. Okay. I think. Um, I Just think, whenever you can get the money and get the exactly. signs. Exactly. Okay. And I. We have funding for the first four or six, I believe. So, and the city committed to that. Well, this is an important step in, in honoring and, and again, paying homage to our African-American history and heritage here locally. How are we doing in terms of race relations in Springfield and the Ozarks? What are your, what are your thoughts and, and views? I think for the most part, um, it can always be better. Right. But I think for the most part, uh, Springfield's doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, 
It depends on who you talk to. Right. I tend to think that uh, we're not where we should be, but we're definitely getting there. Mm -hmm. And I can see a, an effort made to create a little e equality. And it's not so much injustice, but economics and sure. th the whole kit and caboodle. Well, I think that this Heritage Trail is going to also help in that effort. And if you'd like some more information on how you might want to get involved with the African American Heritage Trail uh, and the NAACP here locally, we'll put the information for you on our website, OzarksFirst.com. And I'm just real tickled to finally meet you in mm -hmm. person. Thank I've seen you, you on TV was, for so many I've years. I've watched you also. Well, it's good to Thank meet you, you, Cheryl. Cheryl Clay, our president <laughs> of our local chapter of the NAACP. It's good to have you. We'll have you back. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. We'll have more news after this quick break.